This is the Gadget Flow Podcast, the show about everything related to products, entrepreneurship, marketing, and crowdfunding. And this week, I got to chat with Chad Borgeson. And Chad is a business owner and helps run Innovative Kidding. And Innovative Kidding basically is an awesome company that helps brands package and ship their products at the highest level. We had a great conversation about the importance of packaging your product correctly and making sure it looks amazing. So without further ado, here's my interview with Chad Borgeson. All right, I am here with Chad Borgeson. Chad, how are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for having me today, Alex. Cool, man. Thanks so much for being on. We're uh, us here over the Gadget Floor. Are excited to have you on the show. So for our listeners who may not know who you are, can you just give a brief uh, uh, overview of who you are and what it is you do? Well, in a nutshell, we provide warehousing, kitting, assembling, and shipping uh, or fulfillment services for crowdfunded campaigns. You know, so for their backers to receive the goods, at the end of a successful campaign, that is a primary function. We do that in other capacities as well, but that's primary. Okay, cool. So essentially, you guys handle all the packaging, all the sending out of the product that people are, are creating on their crowdfunding campaign. That's right. So if they have the product may come from overseas or in the United States, et cetera, and they'll arrive in bulk and then we'll kit, assemble and package it to whatever parameters that they're looking for, whether it's a branded look and feel or the least expensive possible way they can get it from A to B. And your company is called Innovative Kidding. How did you get that name? Well, um, kidding is part of the process of shipping things for a lot of companies, but not all of them. In other words, if you're in traditional e-commerce, pick and pack may be a common term where you have a bunch of things on a shelf and orders all look different when they go out. But kidding is the common denominator for a batch shipment. So for a crowdfunding campaign where you're producing one or two products, you know, like say speakers or uh, a new spinner fidget gadget thing, right? All of them uh-huh. look the same. And so, you know, the packages all look the same, except for maybe a one, two or three, depending on what the backer is getting. They have to be kitted into individual packages that are sent out. And that's okay. how, we decided, how we decided to use the name, because that's primary for us. It's batch fulfillment uh, and batch shipping. Uh, and kitting is a primary part of that. Cool. Just wanted to, to clarify that. Um, so l- give us a little bit of your backstory. So I know you, you started Innovative Kidding with uh, a couple other people, but what did you do before starting it? Well, before that, all of us uh, have several years of experience in traditional fulfillment centers, you know, working with traditional e-commerce companies and different brands and doing warehousing, shipping and fulfillment for those brands. And we all decided to branch out on our own and, and do it a little better than anyone else that we worked with before. So it's it's been a good uh, culmination of the minds, let's say. Yeah, definitely. So what made you think of the opportunity? Like what what in this space did you guys see that you wanted to jump on? Like what what was missing in the market that you wanted to, to do differently? Well, one is just the focus on batch kidding itself instead of you being um a secondary or a side hustle for a fulfillment center we decided to make it front and center and primary um so that you don't feel like a guppy in a pond filled with whales because that's traditionally what happens in a fulfillment center if you're focused on brand batch fulfillment such as a a crowdfund campaign it's usually a side line project and we decided to make it primary and the other is Shipping itself tends to be a black box and people don't understand it. And usually fulfillment centers will use that to their advantage. And we decided to be as exceptionally transparent as possible. So focusing on batch plus transparency gives us a unique mix. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And I think that would be a really good way for you guys to stand out with customers too like you're already you you kind of start out the relationship by earning their trust um and that seems like an important thing for you guys is building relationships with your customers is that a big part of what you do 
It is. Absolutely. Um, I personally like to do business with people I feel like I know and trust and you know maybe have some rapport with them. And so we like to build them the same way. And usually it's not a one and done sort of transactional relation, you know, relationships kind of euphemistic there, but uh, more than likely it's actually a relationship where there's a lot of transactions that take place. So you just do a little flip. So yes, absolutely very important. Right. So I'm not sure if this is the, the right question, but I'm curious if you have any insight about it. Like what are some best practices or tips and tricks you've learned over the years for how to, how to package a product well um, or how to package a product in a way that is appealing? Like, are there, there have to be, you know, specific things and in, in ways you guys do it to make it work better. Can you, can you list off a few things uh, that make up what you do? Yeah, I think it's a great question. Um, uh, part of it is that being aware that you can do it is sometimes just not in everyone's Mm -hmm. mind. In other words, you might think you have to stick it in a sort of a plain brown box or maybe use a carrier's specific box, you know, not your brand. And just being aware of that, that's part of it. But as far as doing the right package, we're going to try and do to the specs that a, uh, you know, a new customer really wants it to look like. And so we'll, we'll put together a mock package, send photos or video, um, and go over a sample box and how it might ship and what it should look like. And we usually talk to them about whether they've thought about branded packaging and design and, and, and refer to them to some box manufacturers or designers to get the job done. But it's an all inclusive service. If somebody wants to go that route, so if they really want a luxury look, it can be done and not every fulfillment center offers it. And, or if they do, they may charge a premium to do so because it's just not the primary function. But for us, it is. Right, 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 right. So, you know, maybe working like I'm pretend I'm a I'm a new customer to to what you guys offer. Like, what does the process look like? So we get in touch with you, and then do you just kind of walk through exactly what I'm looking for? Do you help with my brand specific needs? Is that part of what you do as well? Short answer is yes. And, and the way I usually begin is I ask a series of questions. And if you were the customer, Alex, I would say, Alex, what is the name of your company and the brand and what inspired you to do it? Uh, sort of the way you started this interview with me, I kind of want to find out what makes them tick and why they're doing it. And the majority of the people I talk to have some sort of inspirational story. Maybe they saw a need or maybe they had a dream, you know, or, or uh they're trying to leave the corporate life uh, as an employee and become a business owner. So they're on an adventure. And so I want to find that out and then find out what their actual outcome, you know, in, a, in the best possible scenario, what would that look like? And we know we're the last people to touch the product before their customer does, which has a high mm -hmm. impact on the value of their brand. And so I want them to be aware that we're aware of it. So there's a, there's a mutual sharing of uh, information and awareness, I think makes everybody feel comfortable. Yeah, definitely. I have to ask, what is what do you think is the most well packaged product that you guys ha haven't done, but maybe in the world, like something you you love opening or you've had a great experience opening? Well, What's something that stands out to you? <laughs> Anything you have to wait for, but you anticipate is usually pretty good, particularly if it's branded. So, I'll give something that almost anyone can relate to, and then I'll talk about maybe something uh, more specific. And that is anyone that's ever gotten a brand new mobile device, a brand new smartphone, an iPhone or Android, mm -hmm. and again, you know, particularly the iPhone and, and the way they package it in the box and the feel. So there's a sturdiness to the packaging and the feel and the look, and it has values. The aesthetics have values that have an impact in the long term. You can, as a brand, you can typically charge a premium if your product arrives looking premium. <laughs> so right. it, it has a long-term impact. So the best packaging I can say is if I think it's going to vary if you're under a pound or over a pound and what you're actually shipping um, as to how you package it. You know, should it be in a sturdy packaging or should it be delicate or um, 
Does it match the branding of your logo and those kinds of things? But uh, the best is, is to have a visually appeasing impact if you want to have a long-term relationship with your end customer. Right. So I, I imagine there are other people who do a similar service to what you guys do. So what, what makes you guys different? Like what makes you uh, unique in your field? Well, primary part of that is, is the focus on batch fulfillment as the primary um, means to, you know, as far as type of business. So having batch fulfillment as the lead or white label or branded fulfillment where our brand means zero compared to your brand, right? Your brand is first in front of your customer. So the, the antithesis of that, although I have a great deal of respect for them, the antithesis of that is Amazon, right? So Amazon is, mm. a, is a low cost provider uh, as far as the product goes. And I shop there too, just like everybody else. But when I buy from Amazon, I'm really buying Amazon's brand. It shows up in an Amazon box. I feel like Amazon is who I have the relationship with. So what right. sets us apart um, really is the focus on batch and the focus on brand. So you know, batch and brand and put those two together and those are in the forefront. So your brand is number one um, rel you know, relative to anyone else. And that really by itself uh, is a differentiator. I'm going to go back for a second. You said also, um, we had talked a little bit before the interview started, and you also work one-on-one -on -one with customers. So you do consultations, correct? That's another thing that I think is definitely unique about what you guys do. Yeah, I, I guess that you're absolutely right about that. Not everyone's going to do a consultation and certainly not do it without some sort of fee or they might have a very short uh, time span they're willing to talk to you. Absolutely willing to do a consultation hope that you'll do business with us, but you're not under any obligation or pressure to do so. So if someone's wondering, particularly if you're doing a crowdfunding campaign, you want to make sure you get your shipping, handling, and packaging pricing correct before you post your campaign. Because if you're successful in your campaign, but you didn't do the numbers correctly for shipping, then you may ultimately not do too well, <laughs> to put it nicely. Sure. Um, so we'll offer free consultations well-rounded so you have uh, exposure to all the possibilities and know exactly how to price and package your goods. No, that's vital. So um, what what's an example of maybe a, a six, like one of your favorite success stories from a brand that you've worked with in the past? Like what's one of the, one of those turning points for you guys where you were just really proud of the, of the packaging and the work you guys helped with? Some packaging I thought was really great. Uh, is if you look in the past, we've worked with Bitsbox, uh, subscription box is coding for kids, and we've worked with Vistaprint. Um, they have uh, a subscription box model that they started a couple years back, and I think mm. uh, the packaging for that was fantastic, as well as uh, we worked with some crowdfunded campaigns that sold all kinds of things, You know, whether they were uh, board games that needed some final uh, – you know, some final touches as far as kidding goes, as well as, um, you know, a lot of unique books or um, electronic gadgets. <laughs> so uh, the one thing to keep um, aware of, and this may not be a good fit for this conversation, but I'll tell you, anytime you're sending electronics, it's always key to make sure that if it has batteries that they are installed in the electronic device, or they'll be, they'll be prohibited from being shipped or they'll have special circumstances. So um, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and subscription box uh, batch fulfillment and packaging those the right way to get a good look and get a good get feedback from those customers or our customers get good feedback from their customers uh, has really been uh, highlights, you know, having those uh, positive feedback. Absolutely. I mean, I'm even thinking now to like experiences I've had with products in the past and the way it comes to me and that experience of how it's packaged and how the brand presents it. And, um, you know, cause you're right. That's, that's your first point of contact as a customer. I just can't think of a more important thing to get right. You know, it's so important to get your packaging correct. Cause what's more frustrating or, or worse for your customer 
than having a frustrating experience opening your product. That's the first thing they feel when they're opening your product. So if it's if it's a bad experience, you're already you know you're already not doing a great job. That's so, right. I have a great analogy for that, and that, and that is this: you can bake an awesome cake, but if you don't have the icing right, uh, people aren't just as, they're just not as happy. They might not even eat it. <laughs> you got to make it look yeah. good. That's absolutely true, man. So, Chad, where can people connect with you guys and what you are doing? Well, they can go to innovativekidding.com. <clears throat> they can contact uh, us at info at innovativekidding.com or me directly at chad at innovativekidding.com. My uh, corporate number is 919-948-4811, so they can give us a call there if they like. And my direct number is 919-960-1220. Cool. And you guys are, you're doing, you said uh, before we jumped on the call as well, that you have a, you know, like an extended trial for Gadget Flow listeners. That's right. Uh, Gadget Flow, it's an open door uh, for us. So if we have a great relationship with them and uh, we want to have a great relationship with anyone who is uh, thinking about or currently a member with gadget flow. So they get free consultations. We'll go the extra mile to make sure they have full understanding. Sometimes they may be a a bigger brand uh, that may or may not need some uh, consultation from us, but they also may be brand new uh, to the industry and brand new to crowdfunding. Maybe it's the first time they've ever invented something. Uh, So we can definitely help them and uh, go the extra mile to make sure they feel comfortable with the entire process. Awesome. And I'll make sure to include links to all your guys' contact info in the show notes. And um, yeah, I mean, Chad, is there anything else coming up for you guys? Anything you you want to mention on the show? Well, I'd say that um, right now, um, in addition to the free consultation, uh, we're offering a um, pass-through shipping. So uh, if they want to ship say USPS and they want to get our rates for that and they're with gadget flow, consider it done. All right. Well, you hear, heard it here first gadget flow listeners. Chad is hooking it up. So <laughs> Chad, thanks so much for being on the show this week, man. We, I really, really appreciate it. And I'm excited to uh, see what you guys keep turning out. So thanks so much for your time, man. Thank you again, Alex. Thank you very much. That was my interview with Chad Borgeson. Please make sure to check out Innovative Kidding and get in touch with them if you're looking for help in fulfilling your next huge product idea. Like you said, they're offering some additional consulting to Gadget Flow listeners free of charge. So please make sure to take him up on that. Thanks for being on, Chad. This podcast is made by Gadget Flow, and we are proud to be the number one platform to find new and awesome gadgets. So make sure to check out the site for all the new products we're curating every single day. We'll be back next week with another new episode. So in the meantime, please go rate and review our show on iTunes. Thank you so much for listening to the Gadget Flow Podcast. Podcast.